Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 8 on a Windows 7 system. I had done already a detailed video installation guide on dual booting between Windows 7 and a Windows 8 computer using the developer preview of Windows 8 but this method also works on this current uh, Windows consumer preview. So if you want to check out that video just check out that video for those details but uh, quite a few of you guys have emailed me and you guys do not want to install a proper Windows 8 installation on your hard drive because you need to do stuff like partition etc and you just wanted to play around with Windows 8 on a Windows 7 system and for you guys the ideal method to do this is by installing Windows 8 on a virtual machine and the advantage of installing Windows 8 on a virtual machine is that uh, it won't touch existing files on your Windows 7 system and also if you want to remove the same it is really easy so let's get on with installing Windows 8 on a virtual machine before we start installing Windows 8 we need a few things and the first thing that we need is a virtual machine and we're going to use this Oracle VirtualBox. It's free to download. Just go to virtualbox.org and click here and download the Windows version. I've already done the same and uh, we also need to download the uh, Windows 8 consumer preview. Just go to this link and click on the ISO formats just scroll down and download the iso you have both the 64 or the 32 just select one and download the same also do make a note of this serial key that uh, you'll be requiring so just copy that and paste it in a notepad and i've downloaded the virtual box so we're going to install the same so we're going to install the virtual box in c drive the default location as of now so just follow the instructions and uh, the virtual box uh, would be installed in a few minutes and it uh, the virtual box is already installed so i just click on the same and it gives us a welcome screen now you can also get detailed help regarding virtual box by pressing the f1 and now we're going to hit the new option and create a new virtual machine and we're going to name it as windows 8 windows 8 cp is customer preview and it automatically detect uh, said that it's windows 8 pretty nice and we press next and this is important the amount of memory uh, that we want to allocate to our virtual machine uh, the default is 1 gb uh, that should be enough for windows 8 but i have sufficient ram so i'm going to pull it to about 1.5 gb and I hit next. So it says that it's going to uh, allocate about 20 GB of uh, space for this new virtual hard disk. And 20 GB is more than enough for installing Windows 8. So we're going to use that. And we're going to use the file type as virtual disk image. Again, the storage, uh, I'm going to use the dynamic allocated. Uh, that means that if uh, more space is required, it will automatically allocate the same. But if you want a fixed size, you can opt for that. So I just hit next. Uh, we are allocating about uh, 20 GB of space for this Windows 8 CP. And now it gives a summary what it's going to do. And I'm just going to hit create. And Windows 8, uh, we have created the virtual machine, but now we need to install, uh, what do you say, uh, the operating system on the same. So I'm going to hit the start option. And again, it uh, brings up a friendly wizard. And here in the media, I'm going to select the ISO file that we had downloaded. The windows 8 customer preview so just select the iso file and hit next and you just hit the start button now and now the virtual box should install windows 8 and it's installing the windows 8 now in our virtual machine let it install this is going to take some time and we hit the install now option and we need to enter the serial key also uh, in your bios options uh, it is advisable that you select the virtualize option if you have that. And here we are uh, going to select the 
custom install option and we're going to select the 20 GB of space that we have selected and we just hit next and now it should uh, quickly just uh, install the files as the all as the ISO is already on my uh, hard drive it installed pretty fast but if you are installing it from a DVD ROM drive it will take some time so let the installer do its stuff and this is after about two or three minutes the expanding of files is almost done and now the virtual machine is going to reboot itself let it uh, reboot and you can click this restart button and just press ok again and let it boot don't do anything it's going to boot on its own and now again uh, the windows 8 is installing And again, the speed will depend upon the speed of your computer. I'm using an SSD, so it's uh, doing it pretty fast right now. And again, uh, it's restarting the virtual machine. Let it do its stuff. And now uh, Windows 8 has been set up and I'm just gonna give it a name. I'll call it virtual machine 8 virtual machine windows 8 and hit next I'm going to use the express setting I already have a account set up so I'm going to use that Microsoft account if you don't have you can sign up directly now and I'm just going to give it my name and that's it we have almost uh, done setting up windows 8 on our virtual machine do note that the virtual as it's a virtual machine uh, windows 8 will run a little bit slower uh, don't expect it to run as good as uh, you run it on a native uh, installation but again, it should give you a pretty good uh, idea about using Windows 8 interface. And here we have the Metro interface. It's working as you can see. And if we click on the desktop, we are back in the desktop. So our virtual machine is working perfectly. And this way you can install Windows 8 on a virtual machine. And to shut down uh, this virtual machine, it's pretty easy. Just go here in this corner first, shut off. Windows 8, power it off. And that's it, your virtual machine is closed. Also, you can tweak around a few settings if you'd like on your virtual machine. Just right click on the same. And here in the settings tab, and here in the basics option, just go to the system. And here in the processor, uh, you can increase the number of processors. For example, I'll increase it to two processors because uh, I'm using an i7. I can uh, give it a little bit more oomph. And uh, you can also increase the amount of memory you like. But I guess this much is enough. So, and again, uh, if you want to start Windows 8 virtual machine, it's pretty easy. Just click on the Oracle VM shortcut. And here in the Windows 8 option, just click the start option. And Windows 8 should again boot in the virtual machine. So this way you can start and shut off uh, Windows 8 in the virtual machine. Also, if you have done testing this uh, Windows 8 virtual machine and you no longer want it to be on your computer, just right click on the same and you can just delete this Windows 8 virtual machine. So this is how you install Windows 8 on a virtual machine. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, do subscribe to my channel to be notified about my future videos. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.